Welcome to another episode of Entre Filmmaker. I'm your host, Shmuley Hafman. Entre Filmmaker is a bi-weekly web video series dedicated to entrepreneurial filmmaking. So my goal here really is to help and share with you my strategies and hacks to become a more successful and effective filmmaker by being a better entrepreneur and learning the business side of filmmaking in order to live our passion as filmmakers and creatives without being struggling artists. Because who wants to struggle? So today, I will cover a serious mistake that most film and video dudes make. Let me start with a question. I mean, you know, I'm Jewish and I love asking questions, right? Jews always ask questions. Do you have testimonials about you anywhere? You probably don't, because most don't. When you buy a new piece of gear or the latest offered software, what is usually your first step? You look frantically for half a day to find testimonials in order to make a buying decision, right? Now, if this happens with a $20 book or a $500 software or a piece of gear, so why wouldn't you use that method by having testimonials for your own services in order to close the deal? Do you really think the client is not looking for something that kind of makes them say, yeah, I want to go ahead with that person because I trust that person. It's the same thing like ordering something from Amazon. I checked out my competition. I checked out other people's competition, I mean, they're also my competition. No client testimonials. I don't get it. Here is what you need to do today to change that and get ahead of your competition. So, First, a quick announcement. We all use a lot of tools as filmmakers, right? And we are always on the look, on the run, you know, for the latest and greatest and it changes so quickly. It takes really years to gather the right ones together. If you click on the upper right side button, just click on that and I'll send you my Entre Filmmakers Toolbox. It's an ebook, it is free, and I'll share in that ebook with you my latest gear that brings me the best return of investment, you know, apps that I use in order to solve certain production problems, or the web services, internet services I use in order to get more clients, in order to do my marketing, and so on. So check it out and you know, download it for free. Back to our topic. If you do the stuff that I will share here with you today, it will change your business life, your filmmaking forever. And this is not an empty promise. This is a promise, a God-given promise. I mean, God didn't give it, I gave it, but it could be given by God. This little secret to use testimonials is successfully used already in the internet and product marketing world. And I implemented and tested it for my filmmaking business. My conversion rate of closing deals doubled and the time it takes to close high price deals is within a few days instead of weeks or even months. I need to talk less in my sales pitch. People don't need to meet me in person. I meet them over the phone or on Skype because they trust me, especially when you have high profile testimonials. Now, how do you go about this, you know, getting testimonials? There are three different ways of getting testimonials or using them. First, the written ones that you see everywhere on Amazon and products. Second, less known or less used, but still is audio, maybe in a radio show. And the third one, the least used is video. Each of them have their strengths, but I found a statistic that video by far outpaces the other two, meaning the written testimonials and the audio testimonials in believability and effectiveness. Once you have a testimonial, what are you doing with it? Where should you go with that? You need to place testimonials at key areas where your potential client is making a decision if he wants to go along with you on every step. It's not like, a client comes to your website and then he says, oh, I hire this person. There are different steps that you have to go along with the client till he finally says, yes, I want this person to work with. So for example, they come first to your website. There should be a testimonial. 
then you send a budget, then you send an invoice, you want them to pay. There are different key strategic points where the client has always a question of, should I go with this person? Should I trust that person? And exactly at that moment, there should be always showing up a testimonial. The first barrage of testimonials needs to be basically straight on your website. They need to be the strongest and most bragging ones because it's the first impression. As you see here on my website, I use four of them. If you would just use two or maybe three, it could be still perceived as arbitrary. Four really nails down that you are probably a superstar if you got four people to rave like crazy about you. Second, try to get testimonials from as high up ranking people as possible. Known celebrities, CEOs, business owners, marketing VPs, and so on. Don't ask the secretary or cleaning lady to give you a testimonial. Third, place the testimonials not just on the bottom of your site or hide them behind a link. Ideally, above the fold. That means the first third of your website where people see stuff before they have to scroll further. I have seen research that shows that many people don't scroll unless they are further interested in your stuff. So what does it help you if all your testimonials are on the bottom of your page? Four, make the testimonial videos easily playable. Like here on my site, see that? They just open in a very cool light box. I put them on YouTube so that they play anywhere and load the fastest. Don't bother with the Vimeo crap. It has often, often too long load times and you don't have a second chance to make a first impression. Five, I said earlier that video outshines any other testimonial form. Does this mean I don't use written copy? No, you just need to know in which strategic places to use them. Think what is the other area of your client's interaction that needs reinforcement to say, yes, I got my guy. And this is for one of my next episodes where I will show you how I use testimonials on invoices and on you know, project budgets in order to close those deals even quicker by further extending third-party validation. Go and make testimonials like crazy. I'm Shmuley Hoffman and this is Entre Filmmaker. I'll see you in my next episode. Till then, bye.